Here you go, look at that. <gasps> yeah. And it like kind of soft. Okay, yes. It's actually super soft. I think it's just a high, right? Standard side. It's so hard to explain, but it's so delicious. 67, 66. I'm sorry. Hi guys, Mabuhai, it's Maria, and in today's video, we are going to have a Chinatown food vlog. Let's go, let's go. So I'm not being biased here because I am 100% Asian. So today we're going to check it out some of the hottest food spot to try. I'm gonna tell you my 100% honest review about the foods that we're going to try for today. So if you're planning to visit New York City, I hope that this will help you. They got durian here. This is actually the place where we always get our fruits. So it is in Mulberry Street and Canal. So now, we're going to try it out, the Mei Lai Owa. It is actually one of my favorite pork buns. It's not just like favorite, probably it's the most delicious pork buns you will have in here in Chinatown or in New York City in general. Welcome to New York. Huge line for Mei Lai Owa just to get the special pork buns. Like literally, the door is just right there and it's like, ooh. And we still have wine here. So they have so many selections. They have, even have rice here, but people are going here because of their famous pineapple bun with roast pork and of course, the roast pork bun. So actually they put now a kiosk here so you can order it and then you're just gonna pick it up inside. So it's um, pretty more convenient because before they don't have this machine out here, we just have to fall in line. We're gonna try it out, the difference between the pineapple bun and their classic rose pork bun. Let's do this. And cash only, but you can choose to have the credit card payment. There's also another kiosk here inside. This is a classic pork bun, so it was like, it's hot and steamy. Here you go, look at that. <gasps> look at steaming hot pork bun. Oh my God. I was like salivating right now, cheers. You can never go wrong with Wei Lai Wa. I'm not kidding, this is the best pork bun in the entire New York City. It's so good. Literally, like the, the bun itself is like freshly baked. And you can see how flavorful the pork inside this bun. You see this well-seasoned pork combined with this flavorful sauce in a steamly hot, freshly baked bun. So this is a pineapple bun. I heard it's good too. So you can see it like, how is it? It's like there's a cross in it, right? Mm -hmm. So there's like a pineapple cross. Let's crack it, crack it. The difference is only the bun. The crust. The crossly. Yeah. You like see that? Bun. You see that? You see that? There you go. Choo -choo 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 -choo. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> Someone is dancing. <laughs> I'm always ordering the roast pork bun. This is the first time that I've tried this pineapple. Oh, this is the best. Mm. Oh my god. So it's just better. This one. Pineapple. It's got flavor on top. Crispy outside. Soft inside. The filling is the same. Mm -hmm. But the bun is to make it different combination of everything. The bun here is more... There's more flavor to it, for sure. So now we're going to rate it like 10 is the highest and then 1 is the lowest. Food taste? Uh, yeah, <laughs> the flavor, yeah? What else? I think 9. 9? Yeah. What about the portioning? Food portion? Say about a 7. 7? <laughs> Value for money. Classic one is? 195. 195. It used to be 155. Before? <laughs> so because of inflation, I'm gonna give it a Five. Melaiwa, thank you. <laughs> so now, off to the next spot. Now 
we're off to Tasty Hand Food Noodles. This Tasty Hand Food Noodles, according to my research, they have the most tasty hand food noodles here in Chinatown. So we're going to check it out because the claims is confirmed. We're going to try it out this and fried rose dog noodles. Super tiny restaurant, but it's full pack. You see that you can sell good food. It was a full pack. On my back, they're still waiting here. So we ordered for the dog and fried noodles. Big chunks of dog. It actually smells good already. Look at this. It's saucy. You can see like the sauce itself are blending well to the noodles. Struggling with this. Look at this. Like this is the first thing that I've tried. I'm struggling like, with the noodles. Like eating in the noodles. And they handed us this sea sort. <laughs> Meaning that this is how the hand food noodles are real like long and elastic that you have to cut it out. Mm -hmm. Mm, that's good. Like the noodles has been marinated with the flavors when you eat it. Let's try the dog. Check out this dog. You can see the, you know, the fats under the skin. Mm. Good. They use what? They use a lot of lard and oil. That's why it tastes very good. That's why the noodle piece is good because they use the lard, more flavorful, right? Ah, seriously, it's just like if normally when you try some noodles, you can taste the noodles and you know that they're put some sauce in it. But here, if you chew the noodles, the flavors is actually inside the noodles itself, right? That's the difference. Mm -hmm. It's so good. That's the reason why my boyfriend is here. <laughs> he will eat it all. It's so delicious. It's so hard to explain, but it's so delicious. You know that it's so flavorful because some noodles, when you eat it, you can see like it's floating in the sauce, which is not, it should be this way. Asian approved. Look at this. They knew their customers are having a hard time because it's freshly hand pulled noodles and Very it's so tangy and it's super long that you have to cut it with the scissor. Also, don't forget that this is the hand pulled noodles is cash only basis. Bring your cash. Thank you. Okay, verdict for the tasty hand food and noodles. So what about the taste? Um, so I'd give it a 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10? What about the fries the and a food what? portion? In terms of New York standards, yeah, it's definitely uh, it's very, food. very good. Another 8 out of 10. Next is the service. <laughs> right? Because of that, I'll give it a 9. Actually. Oh, I see. Yeah, good, good he changed it. He put it 9 because of the Caesar. Now let's try the Kong Sik Tong milk tea. Kong Sik Tong a milk tea is a Hong Kong style a milk tea. Thank you. So the difference between a Hong Kong a milk tea is that they are using evaporated or condensed milk to make their milk tea creamy. Um, I think the Taiwanese milk tea are more sweeter than a Hong Kong milk tea. I like my coffee to be like black because I really wanted like the bitter taste. So I think this Hong Kong style milk tea or in general Hong Kong milk tea is in my alley because I love the bitterness of the tea itself. Use the condensed milk and evaporated milk which is Asian people like us are fun of it. So for me, value for money for four fifty. I think I give seven for the price. For the taste, it's gonna be six for the taste. Off to next. So they're gonna have a lot of fresh rice noodles here, but of course we're gonna try the number eight, which is the Tony special. There is no sitting here; you just order there, and then there's a the tables outside that you can eat it. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
the hair is like a pillow, like a marshmallow. So interesting. Yeah. Get it? And then we're gonna dip it here. It's interesting. <laughs> okay, this rice noodle is actually melting inside your mouth. Literally. <laughs> Did you know how they made it? Some? They actually made it like a crab, the way they cook it. Like this one? Yeah, it's like a thin crab, like in a pan, like making a crab and then they roll it. Oh. They roll like a noodles. Seriously, this is the first time I tried rice noodles. Like this? Mm -hmm, like this. So. They just like sprinkle the little toppings, like meats, the protein dishes on top of it. The spring roll, like the fillings, it's outside rather than inside. That is like a fully fresh rice noodles. Okay. <laughs> Taste. The consistency, the texture, and the, the softness of the rice noodles. I give it seven. Solid seven. The price and the portion is six bucks for that. I give it a six because it's meant to be a snack anyway. Oh, you got it. What's up? <laughs> All right, well, let's wait until. Oh! We're going to try the Super Taste restaurant pork and chives dumplings. Let's go. So look how tiny is the restaurant, just, just like an alley. Super Taste a restaurant are famous for their pork and chives uh, dumplings. So, so far so good. It's not dry. You cannot eat dumplings? Without hot oil. This is funny. This is like soy sauce, but they put in an empty sriracha. This is how Asian are. We're not throwing in empty bottles. We try to reuse it. Like put like the sauce here. So I try it. Cheers. Mm. It's a juicy inside. It's not dried. The wrappers are so soft. Even the size of the dumplings is just right standard size. I like it. For super taste, freaking chai dumplings. Good taste. They, they did everything right, mm -hmm. uh, but not, not so special. Not life changing. Um, like our favorite dumplings, yes. which is probably in the next video. But this is, yeah, but yeah, I'll maybe. give it a good five. Okay, for the price and the portion, I give it like nine. For, for the price and portion. Price, I think it's a nine. It's 10 for, dumplings. 10 dumplings. For, for 475. So that means it's not even 50 cents exactly. for one dumpling. For, for one big fat dumpling. For a, exactly. I mean, for the price, you can't beat that. So look, it's here. <laughs> okay, this is one of my closest friends. Hosme. <laughs> okay, what are you having there? This um, one is, I'm curious about yes, this. Yes, I'm having noodles with vegetables and eggs. Yeah. And an egg. Yes. This so is a vegetarian egg? friendly. Oh, there's a vegetarian girl here. <laughs> what about this? This is a pork. Those are the pork What are you having there? Fried noodles with pork. With pork. And of course, the pork bun. Yeah, I would say that's good. Uh, recommend that this place. Completely recommend. Um, Super Taste restaurant approved. Approved. <laughs> Thank you guys. We're in Chinatown. Gonna be right here at the Waffle Fast Food in New York City. But look at this. You can't believe how is it. So this is the line. All the way down there, we asked someone like how many minutes they're just like in the middle, standing and waiting. He said that they're standing there for 20 minutes and they're just a half of the line still. So insane. So I think we're gonna skip it and then we're gonna move to another place to try. So if you're liking this video, please don't forget to smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe too because I am planning so many good contents here in New York City and ring the notification bell. We're going to try Pujao Pujo. See how many people right now fighting out here. Up to dine in. Okay, we have the small portion of the peanut butter noodles. Okay. Yeah. So this is three dollars noodles with peanut butter sauce. Sixty-seven, sixty-six. Ta -da! So this is basic noodles. I can see there is a soy sauce here. There is an onion leaf. So pork noodles consistency is good. Try it out. Ready? In like heaven's south. Okay, yes. I think it's just a high for me. 
it's yeah. three dollars if you wanted to try it then go for it it's your money to make it straight to the point i'm not a fan food taste they're gonna be three <laughs> sorry but for three dollars yeah, portion and price i get five yeah if you wanted to try it then go for it but for me i'm not a fan as an asian i'm enjoying more having an instant ramen noodles two dollars the grocery store so if you want to try it then try it sorry not so sorry for my verdict it's an honest review of the next so we're right here at Viewers Food Court in Grand Street Corner, Christie. Oh, so this is the squid, this is the heart, and this is the gizzard. Mmm! Good! This is two dollars a stick. Mm -hmm. I like it. This is a chicken gizzard. So that is chicken heart and a squid. Food and taste in general. Four. Portion and price for two dollars a stick. I think three for the price and portion so anyway let's go to the final dessert gonna go ice cream so for the final stop we're gonna have the chinatown ice cream factory dragon eating ice cream <laughs> okay they have the vegan here the coconut red bean chocolate lychee cheese here black sesame i think i'm gonna have the black sesame mm. 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 how is it i love that swimmy <laughs> so with all that we tried today which is our favorite Melaiwa. The top rating foods is going to be the Melaiwa, hands down. So yeah, thank you very much guys for being with us today. And this is your girl Maria saying salamat. Thank you. Alam. Bye. And see you on my next video. I have my hands now. <laughs> Not hands here. Bye. I want to live your life. I want to dream your dreams. Catch them stars in the night Every superpower That is yours will be mine I'll be that it girl Pouting mouth Crossing the line How much was it? Seven? This is six dollars, six fifty for a scoop of Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights.